I don't like modern art. I don't like abstract art. Controversial opinion, I know. However, I'll explain through a bit of its history, first of all, and what exactly it is I have a problem with. Because it's probably not what you think. To start, let's begin with some examples of abstract expressionism. It was an art movement developed in New York in the 1940s, and as a famous example of it, let's take a look at this art piece. Number 5 by Jackson Pollock. It's an action painting, made by laying out a large canvas on the floor and dripping cans of paint onto it. The piece is absolutely devoid of meaning. It obliterates all rules of composition, lighting, and even subject. This artwork is absolutely meaningless. What the painting is, however, is supposedly a celebration of the activity of painting itself, about the paint, and about the canvas. In Pollock's specific case, as a practitioner of action painting, his work is about the energy of the splashing lines of paint themselves. Art for art's sake, essentially. And I will admit, the work produces an aesthetically pleasing pattern to look at in all of its chaotic energy. However, randomly splashing paint around on a large canvas isn't a particularly difficult thing to do. Nor are random swashes of paint in solid chunks, like in Mark Rothko's number 16. So what's the problem? Why do I have such a problem with modern abstract art? The artwork isn't intrinsically abhorrent or ugly, nor do I particularly hate what they stand for. No, what I dislike is that these artworks are being sold for absurdly high amounts of money. Mark Rothko's number 16 sold for 1.8 million dollars. Not too bad yet, right? That matches the price of many other paintings, though few of which are as simplistic as this. Let's turn back to Jackson Pollock's number 5 for a second. How much do you think this one is worth? 5 million? 10 million? In 2006, this piece was sold for an absurd $140 million. That's as much as an expensive yacht, or two cheaper ones. Okay, so famous paintings are expensive. Big deal. There's Renaissance paintings that are sold for much, much more. And I hate modern art because it's become commoditized by the super rich, like all these other famous art pieces, right? Well, not exactly. Why do I have a problem with this art form in particular, and not paintings of other genres, like classical Renaissance portraits, or impressionist pieces that similarly fetch high prices from people with way too much money for their own good. My issue comes with the specific legacies of abstract expressionism and the history that brought it about, which makes the commoditization of it even more egregious. So to explain this, we're gonna have to go back. Yeah, it's rewind time. <laughs> Booga Booga, Caveman Draw. Okay, 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 not that far. We're gonna go back to the Renaissance. The old masters like Leonardo da Vinci, Caravaggio, and Rembrandt defined what art was at the time. Becoming an artist was not something anybody could do. In some years, you needed to become the apprentice of an already established, well-known artist. In others, you had to attend an academy learning all the rules of art, such as light, shadow, proportion, perspective, sculpturalism, etc. Simply put, it was a difficult endeavor. However, modernism emerged in the 20th century. Unlike old Renaissance styles such as Baroque, Rococo, Neoclassicism, among others, with modernism came styles such as Cubism, Futurism, and Abstract Expressionism. And unlike the art of before, many of these modernist styles were easy. So easy that anyone with some paint and a brush could do it. Heck, as Jackson Pollock proved with action painting, sometimes you didn't even need the brush. Because abstract art was free from the rules established by institutions of the past, anyone could do it, which was the beauty 
of the art form, anyone was free to ex artistically express themselves through expressive use of lines, color, etc. It was a liberating art form that anyone could participate in, not just the super rich or hyper talented. In the Renaissance, art was a thing only displayed in the homes of nobility or inside of churches. At best, ordinary people just owned some small Jesus thing. As we jump back into the 20th century, modernism, unlike the art of the past, wasn't mostly made for the benefit of the rich or the church. It was the shift of art from Paris to New York. And herein lies my problem with modernism, because it's been commoditized by the wealthy all the same, like with the paintings of the past. It's a shame that Despite the accessibility initially touted by the art form, modern art has become something only enjoyed by the rich, once again. We see pieces such as Pollock's No. 5, Rothko's No. 16, or Picasso's Painting of a Lover in a Beret being traded around by private collectors for millions of dollars. Artwork has always been the victim of conspicuous consumption the victim of wealthy people buying it to show off how much money they have. Modern art had arrived to subvert the expectations of institutions and the reputation of art in the past, and yet it had ended up as commoditized as the rest. The legacy of modern art is, dare I say, tarnished in recent years, replaced with the idea of it being the work of lazy artists randomly splattering paint on a canvas to earn a quick buck. And again, looking at these absurd prices being fetched, it's no wonder it earned this reputation. With the ridiculous prices of such simplistic pieces that require no years or decades of practice and training, it's no wonder that, nowadays, the reputation of modern art is sinking further. And this isn't helped by the controversial contemporary pieces like the banana taped to the wall, which are also being marketed as modern art. But that's not the point here today. It's transformed from an expressive, colorful medium, free from the limiting rules of the past like color, subject, light, perspective, shadow, free from the academies, the church, free from the snobbish legacies that pegged art as a commodity only enjoyed by the wealthy. And that is why I dislike modern, abstract art.